So imagine this, imagine a round object and it's moving through air, say it's moving in this direction. And the air is separating evenly on both sides of the object. So it passes around it like this. Now, imagine that that object is now rotating. A couple of things start to happen. For a start, the, the air that's passing over the top is now passing just a little bit faster thanks to the movement of this object. Whereas the air that's passing underneath, it starts to build up because we've got some of this air moving in this direction. So we've got a, a, a kind of a build up of air just underneath. So this uneven air on either side of the object means that we end up with a resultant new force in this direction. And this is called the Magnus effect. I love demonstrations that you can do with whatever's at hand, rough science, whatever's around you that you can actually use to put together quickly to demonstrate a particular concept. Where are we? What, 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 what is this thing? Does this... Gordon's Reserve. Oh, Gordon's Reserve. So we're here in, in Gordon's Reserve. Yep. Parliament is just over there. Yeah. Uh, this is Spring Street over here and right it's a beautiful there. day. It's a fantastic day. And, and so we've just had some dumplings. Yes. Um, and do you know, these dumpling bowls give me an idea. Oh yeah. This cup, rather heavy. Now we've got a longer but lighter cup. Nice one. Whoa. Finally, there we go. Well done. 